Yeah, push, man. Really want to be the best. And work towards being the best every day. And do the things that's going to take necessary to, in order to, in that process to be the best player you can be. Or else you're just wasting your time. And they can just be wasting their time. And we get to the point where we start trying to figure it out and it's too, it's too late, it's too late. And then you point and figure out how, at other people how they, how they was wrong, how they didn't want, how they didn't help you to get to your point. No, man. That's not the case. You got to know where you want to get to in a sport. Actually work towards that and get there. Instead of just waiting for other niggas to do it for you. And then when you don't make it, you hating on niggas that made it, that put that extra time in. And you mad at them now. Because you didn't put the extra time in. We know those people. You 25, 30 years old, you know those people. You don't work your whole life to get to your point you at today. And it's niggas that could have worked as hard as you and could have worked harder, did not work harder, and they mad at you for working harder. That is not right. That's one of the things I never, I never, nah. I respect niggas that work hard, that put more work in than I did. You got to. Guys like Isaiah Stewart, guys like Tomas Bryant, that put that extra work in. You got to respect those niggas, man. You can never look at those niggas like, oh, I watched that, that Pistons game, that Pistons Summer League game about 25, I watched that shit probably six times. I'm proud. But you see other people that want to, want dudes that, that just look at niggas and think, oh, he ain't got this, he ain't got that. And you guys, it's human. Like, when you look at somebody's success, it's humane to think that the, 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 what they're going through, the negative thing they're going through. But it's, it's also humane to, to reason with that person. It takes a strong human to reason with that person and understand that they took they took they they worked their ass off to get there. And I don't think nor, no one around here, Wayne County or even Rochester even either, I haven't seen niggas that have actually like been genuinely happy for people. It's increment. You never see it. It's hard. It, when you're a good person and you're a great person and you really like work towards being great and you actually want to be great and you actually do things that's great and you're a good cause in your community, it's hard to see other people like you. So you're going to see a lot of shitty people, man. And that's the one thing that that burns me a lot is to be a good person because it's so easy to be a shitty person. That is the easiest job in the world to be a shitty nigga, to just want people to destruct and hurt people. That is like easy. It's hard, It's like a, it's a better man or a better woman to like actually want people to succeed and then want people to succeed better than you are. That is hard. But it's, it's, it is humane, though. Like, niggas supposed to be doing that. It's, that's demonic to want to see somebody go through destruction. Want to see somebody go through something bad. I don't want to see nobody do good, bro. You don't want your surroundings to be good? Where are you trying to live at, hell? Yo, niggas living in hell, bro. If I'm around here, right, and all I want is the people around me to suck and struggle, I'm in hell. How is that not hell? Heaven is niggas around me eating, doing good, living good. Ah. If I'm around and all I want to see is niggas struggle, that's hell. I'm the devil. This is basic stuff, man. All, I'm, I'm around here, all I see is people that want to see me struggle. I'm like, yo, I want to see y'all niggas eat. I don't understand that. But it's mad niggas around here that want to see me eat too. That's why I'm making, we get that wrong. It's mad niggas that want to see me succeed. But there's always, the you don't know, it's always the negative people that make that just shine brighter that just, you always notice negative ones. Because that's the weird people, like, it's just stick out like a, like, but or, I'm telling y'all, this place I'm living in right now is nothing like no other place, I'm telling y'all. You would never see people like around here Mind, bro, I'm telling you, the mind. Niggas' mind is... Here is crazy, man. To where you will be around niggas and you'll see niggas and they really want to see you lose. Praying on you to lose. And then they see you winning and they come around you. You be like, nigga, you were just smiling on me losing. Don't come around me. You were just smiling when I was losing. Now I'm winning, you want to be around me? No! You know how many niggas clowning probably when I was walking around on a bike and shit? Struggling? Pushing my son in that car and shit like that, walking, still doing those walks? Niggas probably had a field day. Same niggas, now I want to come around.
You can't make this shit up, bro. I'm glad they make laws and shit. Laws and you can't do violence and stuff because, bro, it'd be a wild world, man. I'm telling you, man. My biggest thing is just like, know your target. I didn't want to get into life and all that other stuff and talk about that stuff, but guys, you want to know you got to, but basketball player, I'm talking to basketball players specifically. We got to know where we want to get to in this sport, man. If you don't know where you want to get to in this sport, where are you going? These kids are, hey, these, these kids are here to work hard enough. Y'all not, Y'all not working hard enough to get nowhere. If you're already in high school, you don't already got a set routine, a set schedule, don't even try to make the pros. Let me try to get a scholarship, man. Plan for FLCC and Brockport. Locally. You don't have what it takes. You're not working hard enough to get out of here. You know how much work you got to put in? Nigga, it's a lot of work. Y'all listen to your parents and what your parents is saying about me. So y'all not listening to what I'm saying. Your parents don't know how to make it in ball. They will never put you in a position to make it in ball. Only niggas that will put you in a position to make it in ball is niggas that made it in ball. My mom didn't put me in a position to make it in ball. I learned from John Wallace. That was never my mother. She helped assisted. That she didn't have the answers? How are your parents going to have the answers, man? Listen, y'all got to take notes from somebody else that did it already. Or just forget about it. We're on a new sport or something. I'm not saying quit ball because you want to stay consistent on what you're doing. But at the end of the day, bro, God damn. You know what I mean, though? God damn. That's my only thing with this shit, man. Because we got to figure out like a way where we can all win. And ain't going to be everybody. I've learned in my years of 29 years of being here, you can't save everybody. I don't got to like everybody. I can hate more niggas than I love. That is a fact. But I do got to connect with someone. Some people, I got to connect with somebody. You know what I mean? Y'all don't want to connect with nobody. It's all y'all kingdom. If you're going to be a king, you got to put that grind in, bro. You got to really actually care about a lot of people if you want to be a king. If you want to be at the top, you got to take the most risks. You got to take the L, nigga. You got to take the most L's. If you want to be at the top, you got to take the most L's. Y'all don't want to take no L's. And then still be at the top. If you don't want to take no L's, you're at the bottom. That's automatic. You don't want to take no L's. So, basketball guys, know your target. Because if you want to get to the top, or you want to get to the top of the sport, you're going to look stupid a lot. I look stupid every day. You're going to look stupid a lot. You gotta be ready for that. You gonna get your ass. You gotta be ready to get your ass bust. I'm seeing kids. Some kids want to go against the big dogs. Some kids don't want to play against older people. They want to play against the little niggas they know they can beat. You're not going nowhere with that mindset. You gotta be ready to go compete against LeBron and get your ass bust in front of everybody against LeBron. You gotta be ready for that, man. That's my talk on this. I didn't want to talk this long, but every time I feel like I talk, I always go ten minutes. That's just my shit. And I'm... So this whole point was just know your target. I don't know what I'm talking about. How long is that, 12?